Start by getting some water from the tap and add two spatulas of rock salt to the water. Then stir the mixture with a glass rod. The stirring helps the salt in the rock salt mixture to dissolve. The sand and the grit in the rock salt can't dissolve, it's insoluble. The salt can dissolve, it's soluble. Next, I'm going to set up my filtering apparatus. I need a conical flask, a filter funnel, and a piece of filter paper. I fold this in half, in half again, and then I take away one side from three to make a nice little cone that goes inside my filter funnel. I'm going to carefully pour the mixture into the filter paper. I have to be careful not to overflow the filter paper. Now I'm waiting for the water and the dissolved salt to pass through the filter paper. You can see this happening here. None of the sand and grit is getting through, just the salt solution. So the water and the dissolved salt. Now we have separated our sand from our salt solution, our filtrate, and we're left with the residue at the top. This is the stuff that can't get through the filter paper, it's too big. And the filtrate at the bottom. This is the filtrate. It's the salt solution that was small enough to fit through the filter paper. Now we are ready for evaporation. We are going to set up our apparatus just like in the diagram. Heat mat, Bunsen burner, tripod, wire gauze, an evaporation basin. Next we're going to carefully pour the solution, our filtrate, into the evaporating basin. Now I'm going to light the Bunsen burner and then turn it on to a blue roaring flame by opening the air hole. From a safe distance, I'm going to observe the water evaporate. I'm not going to touch the evaporating basin or any of the equipment whilst this happens as it's very hot and I don't want to burn myself. When almost all of the water has disappeared, you can turn the Bunsen burner off. Turn it off at the gas tap. Almost all of the water has disappeared, so I'm going to turn the Bunsen burner off the gas tap. And then I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to touch it because it's going to stay very, very hot. So once all the evaporation of all the water has happened, the salt doesn't evaporate and we're left behind pure salt. There you go, you can see it in the evaporating basin. We're still not going to touch it though because it's still very hot. Pure salt.